other things that may happen that hopefully, God willing, will happen, I want to move out. I want to get my own place. Moving is something that I have really been dreading. I was stressing about feeling like I had to move and I had this timeline that I was expecting myself to adhere to for no reason. I don't know what it was that clicked for me, but I just started getting excited about the idea of having my own place. No, I don't have an apartment yet. However, I am trying to get ahead of this and prepare ahead of time. We are here in New York to tour apartments for me. There's this one apartment that I am really, really interested in. If it's meant to be, it will be apartment number two. So it's official. I am moving to New York. I have approximately two hours to pack up the rest of my life and put it into these cardboard boxes. Saturday, October 9th, and I am moving to New York City today. You have no idea how much I want to miss you. You have no idea what's going on. I see you soon. Yeah. I see you in a week. She'll be up with me in a week. But still, thank you so much. Buddy, come here. Guys, we stopped on the turnpike and got some coffee. Yum. I got my typical grande pumpkin cream cold brew with oat milk and two pumps of chai. I also got my favorite sandwich, so I'm gonna eat that. Oh my God, how did we go back 30 minutes? We were not there for 30 minutes. So we got there, grabbed my keys, and kind of sprinted up to the apartment because we were a little bit later than we were expecting to be. Me, my dad, and the movers all basically got there at the same time. So then we just started the process of unloading the truck and bringing everything to my apartment. And then my brother decided he wanted to open my dining chairs and build them because he wanted a place to sit. So he did that, Alex cleaned, and I started to unpack. Once the movers brought the last stuff into the apartment, I went into my bedroom and started to unpack the clothes that I brought, the ones that I put on hangers. If you watched my last video, you know my hack for this with the garbage bag. It just makes it so easy, as you can see here. They're literally already hung, just taking the garbage bag off, and my closet is pretty much ready to go. to unload your truck and bring it up for you because those four guys brought all my stuff out of the truck in an hour. Just one hour is what it took for them. So we have some stuff in the bedroom. I'm gonna start building my bed frame so that we can get my mattress out and let it rise. But this is the situation in the living room right now. Colin is building 
Probably. The second chair, he already built that chair. My dad and Alex just went to return the U-Haul. They have to go to Brooklyn. They are gonna drive over and do that. And I think they're gonna stop at Katz's and get some food for us for lunch. Thank God, because I'm actually starving even though I feel like I did nothing. I got the keys earlier. Obviously, that's how I'm in here. I got the number for the super. And I also emailed the people so they could send me the welcome packet that I'm supposed to get. I'm still waiting for that. I don't know what kind of information is in there, but it's probably something that I'm gonna need. So hopefully they send it to me soon. We also have a lot of cleaning to do. That's an understatement. Or should I Swiffer the floor first? Swiffer the yeah, floor. Yeah, Okay, I'll Swiffer the floor first. You guys want me over. We also measured this room because like I said, I didn't have a floor plan. Did I say that in this video? I think I said that in the last video. We measured this room, so we found out how we can orient my bed and we found out that it, we can put it this way without it touching the radiator, thank God. And I can also fit my nightstand that I made next to it. This door right here is gonna knock into it, but it's only one door, so I'm okay with that. But this is my little book shelf that I painted white. It fits perfectly right here. My desk is going to fit perfectly right here. I measured that too. So that's the update as of right now. Guys, it's, I can't believe this. Seriously, there's no way this is real. Yeah, toilet paper. I'm gonna start cleaning in the bedroom so that I can set up my bed frame. With a CNN. Yeah, so wait, put it over on this side. Cause it's a seven foot six inch by nine foot. Right, exactly. So, it's so is this, this is nine feet. Fuck, it is the other way. Yeah, so that's, that's right. we'll go down. And so let's hop. So let's go. So let's go. Whoa. How is this an 8 by 10 map? What? It's supposed to be 8 across there. I'm so confused right now. I just don't know how this is going to work because we have a radiator. And this now spans the entire length. And if there's not another option to cut it, you just take a loss on this one and take it home. And we can get something to fix this area. It really would have been helpful if somebody gave me a fing floor plan. You like yes. Hold this upright. Oh And I, oh, that's my fan. It's in my bathroom. Brought in my nightstand over here. Against this wall, we have my desk, my chair, and my bookshelf. Things are coming along swimmingly. I'm watching the Penn State game on my laptop because one, I don't have a TV, and two, I don't have a TV. I'm using my personal hotspot on my phone to play the game because I don't have my Wi-Fi yet either. I'm supposed to pick that up tomorrow and install it. We have quite a lot to unpack. <laughs> It's 17 p.m. It's already getting dark outside. I love fall and winter, but it's the seasonal depression that hits for me because it gets dark so early. Next, I think I'm gonna try and hang my curtain rods up there. Just on his back. Yeah. Now, this is certainly a blow. I'm biased as a quarterback. It hits you right there. Skipping ahead a couple of days, we've just been doing a lot of running around, trying to gather things that we need for the apartment. We actually went grocery shopping several times, so I have some things in my fridge now, thank God. And now it is time to take on the IKEA furniture.
It's me. Did you miss me? It's actually Friday. I don't even know the last time I talked to the vlog. I literally don't know. It might have been Sunday. It might have been Saturday. I don't know, but it's now Friday. It is October 15th. What a week it has been. We have done a lot. So let's recap the current status of the apartment. Starting off with my laundry closet. There's really nothing to change there. The kitchen just has shit everywhere. We've been unpacking, just kind of trying to organize things, but not having definitive places for everything. So we're just putting things places so that we can get them out of the boxes so we can get rid of the boxes and make more room. I bought an air conditioner and had my super installed it for me and then walking into the living room boxes everywhere obviously the bathroom we haven't really done much in here and still to this day when i'm recording this voiceover like two weeks later i still haven't done much with the bathroom it's very much a work in progress this is the state of my living room i got a nice tv from my friend elena god bless she gave it to me for free i built my ikea dresser sort of uh you saw me just do that i still have to put some of the drawers together and then for my bedroom it looks like a tornado went through it i still have a lot of things i need to get in the way of storage and organization for my whole apartment especially my room i also haven't done much in the way of decorations except for this so i really haven't vlogged at all because i just have been running around and trying to set things up and it has been very overwhelming we have so much to do today it's currently 1 20 p.m i need to put all my clothes away as oh you guys saw the other day i built my ikea dresser that was actually a two-day process but i finally finished it and i really like how it looks my tv is sitting on it right now right now my clothes are still in boxes everywhere just thrown around i have some things i need to hang on the walls i have my two prints my harry styles prints that i'm gonna hang on my wall I have curtain holdbacks that I bought to like hold back my curtains in here And then I have a curtain over there that I bought I need to build my Alex drawers that I got from Ikea I got the mini size this time so I can fit it in my closet here I also need to build my rolling kitchen cart and that's gonna be like my coffee station tomorrow Saturday my dad is coming back up and he's bringing me some stuff from home And he's also gonna take home some stuff that I ended up not needing here and he is bringing Charlie with him Aww. Charlie will finally be here. We wanted to wait a week and let my mom and I set up things before we brought Charlie because it has just been so hectic I just didn't want to throw her into this environment and not have it like ready for her on Sunday My mom and my dad are going home and it will just be me here and Charlie, but my mom has been here with me this whole week helping me set everything up Helping me shop for things doing everything and keeping me company and whatnot. It hasn't really sunk in that I live here yet I'm not by myself yet. Like my mom is still here. So when they leave on Sunday, I'm afraid for what emotions will hit me We need to get started with our tasks. We just moved the rug before it was like pushed all the way to my dresser So now there's a little bit of space here looks very cute now I am going to fill my dresser with my clothes finally so my finished ikea dresser it's the malm malm style dresser and then here is my tv it's like the perfect size for this dresser i'm gonna go ahead and put my clothes in here i have clothes in my suitcase still clothes on the floor clothes in this bin clothes on my bed <laughs> clothes freaking everywhere we're gonna put all of these away now Check the level on that one. For real? Oh! 
it goes up, doesn't it? How is it not level? Way not level. F this. It's better. Oh yeah. I mean, it probably still doesn't look right. Much better. I mean, but I can't move it up yeah. anymore because there's a hole right above it. You are fine. Come back here. It's great. Oh, dude! Yay! I like them. Cool. Cool. It's Sunday and my parents just left. Officially, my mom has stayed with me this whole week to help me set up everything. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> but I wanted to show you the reality of moving by yourself for the first time when you're a homebody. It hasn't even sunk in that I've moved because my mom has been here with me. And I'm honestly sure that it's only gonna get harder before it gets easier. Where's my cat? Hi, Quinn. She's been sleeping under my bed literally all day. All right, well, I have some stuff to do, so I should go do that. I wanted to update you. The journey begins now. It really begins now. Okay, I'll talk to you later.